Uh, Katie, what do you got? Porn. Uh, <laughs> from robots to porn, porn, we have it all here on the awesome yes. cast. Guess what? Porn has finally hit virtual reality for both the Oculus and the Samsung Gear. Finally, VR. what took it so long? Uh, well, it's part of the Oculus's terms of service is oh. not in their store is not creating pornographic type stuff. Okay. So, so you can watch a threesome in virtual reality if yes. you know where to look. That yep. is the headline on this thing. Mm -hmm. Nasty America. <laughs> which is the of name. course. Um, the name of the... I guess, Naughty America. Naughty America. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, said nasty. I like nasty better. Naughty America. Shiloh's correcting on the porn. Yeah. Well, it's, it, I was just reading the article. It's two chicks, same time. Is the name of it. So two chicks, same time. You can either have a man or a woman at the center of the action. Uh, your choice. And I had no idea that there was an actual Reddit feed for Oculus NSFW. So in case you're looking for something exciting to look at, there is a Reddit feed just straight Oculus NSFW. We will not be bringing that up on the video feed here on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, so you can be part of a threesome without actually having to be part of a threesome. Oh, and this is free? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you want to be the man or the woman? Huh. So this is kind of the first major step. I mean, everything we know with technology is based around porn and the proliferation of porn. Well, there's actually an interesting book called Sex, Bombs, and Burgers, and it's mm -hmm. about how all technology that we have today and we'll probably have in, the, in our lifetime is all based on technology that was developed by the military, by fast food industry, or by the porn industry. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, a, it's a really good book. Catch it if you, if you, if you can. Um, oh, wait a minute. Starring Nikki Benz, Jacqueline Taylor, and now you. <laughs> so if you're and it's just an MPEG. It's what? It's just an MPEG video. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. So it's just, it, so it's just for watching. Mm -hmm. So it's like you, you probably just snag it, and it's uh, that weird double thing. So mm -hmm. it's on the Oculus. What keeps you from putting it on? It's on Samsung. It's They're on Samsung. Oh, it's on Gear Samsung. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's probably doing something specific for the Gear VR, so you couldn't just pop it into like the the Google Cardboard. So. Mm -hmm. Well. Hmm. <laughs> You're really considering this. Well, like, I'm, you're, 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 yeah, I mean, I mean, not you're considering this, but you're like really wrapping your head around. I'm this really thing. wrapping my head around it because how does it work? Is it just going to be a video? Basically, I mean, you, you you want interactive porn is what you're looking for, right? Well, not just that, but I'm thinking like if I look behind me, the video is not going to have no. Like I'm thinking the whole VR situation should be where I can look behind me. And if I don't want to look at the two people in the porn, I can look at the Then why did you wall. download it? <laughs> but it, but I feel like you're, the whole point of it is just sit, sit stagnant, and it's not making good use of the actual, what part of virtual reality. To me, it's just giving you like a three-dimensional. But the thing is, is you're not thinking of the package deals you're, you can set this up now. Because now you have this here in your eyes, and you sell it with a doll or something of some sort and now you have a whole experience you think about it, you don't have to have the real doll because you just need something that feels right and yeah. why are we wrapping our heads around this thing <laughs> just stuff a t-shirt and go to town <laughs> there's a north american tour oh naughty america oh wait a minute oh it's just a thing for all their sites oh. eh. the url's na tour very nice. See what VR user... Ah, this is interesting. Yeah. Well, on that... Well, this could be you. There's a picture. Well, and it's... It, but see how it's, like, fish-eyed? Like, that's where I'm wondering. Like, I'm, I'm thinking... Where, where I'm thinking about this is, right? Just like I said, anything we we get usually ends up coming from, from porn, military, or, or fast food. Like, how long is it before... If I want to watch a football game, I can watch it sitting in the middle of the field. But that's that is, that's also going to require like very very specialized cameras to do the movement live. And, and this is and I know this is something. Um, well, I don't think. It, but here's where I think you're wrong because if you have a 360 degree rig, yeah, like like the Google one with the GoPros, right? right. That that well, you're so basically some you're just and, and there's a all... bandwidth thing because you have to stream regardless if you're looking at it or not. That video has to stream to you. Yeah. I would think. So, so do it like 720p. 
Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying do it in 4K. No, no, and I don't even know what these are capable on the on the. But like that's where that's where like wouldn't it be cool to have these on? Right. And like watch a hockey game sitting at center ice, or walk walk around an instant replay. Yeah. Like that's Mm -hmm. where like. That's why I'm wondering, like, the whole point of this so you, it is has more to be, staggering. But it has to be captured right. in the first And this place. isn't captured, I guess. Yeah. And that's where I want them to take this, right? I want them to take this, and I'm not a huge sports buff by any means, but I want them to take it where you, you, you see those 360-degree rotation views in, like, The Matrix and in the, the um, Avengers Age of Ultron. Right. Like, let me walk through that scene. That's what I want. And we talked about it for, for selling.